This morning, today we will go to Barakas. We're at the Eternal Sea. Really? <laughs> Hi, we're excited to go to... Where are we going? Barakas! had to move our flight by a day and so when they did that they actually gave us a travel voucher which allowed us to rebook for any domestic flight around the Philippines and so we actually got like a free ticket so we are using that ticket for this trip so we are going to Boracay! Thank you so much to the Pacific! So we are going to Boracay so this is the first ever time that we are paying only about $60 or 2,900 pesos for all of us, for our flight tickets going to Katiklan Baratay and back to Manila in a few days. So that's pretty awesome. God has been amazing to us this year, giving us a lot of free trips to enjoy His goodness. So see you there!
Cucumber, 53 to 59. Oh, may ganun. Shade is taken. He's riding the boat all the way to Lynn. Alright, it's a nice boat. She has a seat number and her seat is 54. Your seat number's here, Satichi. Daddy, where your seat? Did you take your bottom in? Okay, let's see. It's here. Well, can we gotta have a number. We got an each ride from the jetty here for for 200 pesos on the way to station two Azalea. Right next to the Azalea lobby is Kuya Jay's. It's like whenever we go vacation, Kuya Jay's seems to always be our first meal. So we just got here in Azalea in Boracay, and as with our Baguio trip, we can review it a few episodes back. Our first meal in our destination is once again in Kuya Jay. <laughs> and it's for your birthday. And it's my birthday again. Wow, suhe. Kuya Jay's, I think I should have a, a discount card already. <laughs> Loyal customer. There, so how was our trip? It was good, right? It was good. It was good. It was smooth. It was, good. It was pretty... Uh, Complication free. In fact, we arrived earlier. We arrived 10 minutes early. And uh, we did, did you know that our captain and our first officer were both women? Oh, diba? Good job, Cebu Pacific, for women empowerment. So we're just waiting for our food and also we're waiting for 2 p.m. to check in because our room is not yet available. So when we eat then, I'll share to you uh, the process uh, of how we came from the airport. Uh, airport to the hotel. There's a lot of terminal and fees that you need to pay. If you want to DIY. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hey guys, so we're finally checked in here at Azalea Residences. Uh, this is the second time that we're checking in here, in particular in their Boracay branch. And we're very happy uh, with the rooms and with the service in here. We got a two-bedroom suite, obviously because our, of our large family. So everyone's enjoying. In fact, uh, the kids are sleeping now and even Mond. I just want to share with you um, the process by which we came in here from the airport in Manila all the way to Katiklan Domestic Airport. So what we noticed was upon arrival to the airport, they actually separated the arrivals area from the departures area. So when we came to the arrivals area, it was the easiest baggage claim because they just literally put your, your luggages on one ledge and then you pick it up yourself. And then from that point on, um, you have to uh, decide if you want to get their shuttles or air-conditioned vehicles that comes out to about 850 per person. So it's quite pricey. So we decided to do it DIY because this time we didn't have a shuttle from the airport all the way to our hotel. So we went to the tricycle terminal, which is the, it's just a very short walk. Um, in the area from the airport so at the tricycle terminal we were asked to pay 150 pesos for two persons so since we're seven you just have to add an additional 75 pesos 
um, for three persons in a tricycle because that's the maximum amount of people that can ride the tricycle. Plus, we do have our luggages. We had three tricycles for us that took us all the way to the jetty. That's your next step. So from the airport, you ride the tricycle, and then you go to the jetty. And at the jetty, that's where you ride the boat all the way to the island. But at the jetty, that's also where you pay for the terminal fees, uh, environmental fees, and the boat itself. So this is something that you have to prepare for. Uh, obviously for us, again, because we're seven people, uh, uh, we need to prepare for these things. So for the terminal fee, um, the amount is 150 pesos per person and then 120 pesos per person for discounted people like students and PWD. So we had well, four students with us, so that's discounted uh, fee for us. And then you pay for, also that's the terminal fee, but before that you pay also for the environmental fee in the same building at the jetty, uh, which also comes out to the same price, 150 pesos per person and 120 pesos for discounted which are kids and students and then you also pay for your boat which is at 50 pesos per person and then 40 pesos for um, the discount one for students again so I think for our family we uh, paid for about 930 pesos for the environmental fee so that's about um, $20 and then the same for the terminal fee and then for for the boat, um, 310 is $5. So those are the things that you need to prepare for when coming in here because we did it on our own, DIY. So from the jetty, we rode the boat all the way to the island. And then we rode another e-trike at the terminal. Um, but everything was very quick and very systematic even if there was um, a considerable amount of people. So. For the for the e trike, we paid 250 pesos for all of us because it took like one e trike to bring us all the way to the hotel, uh, seven in one. But you can opt to to add um, because the kuyas there specifically for us. Our driver was kuya Sunny. He was so nice. Um, it was a very pleasant ride. He gave us tips as well about the new things that has happened in Boracay, and then he took us here to the hotel at Azalea. So yeah, those are the things that you need to watch out for uh, when coming in here to Boracay. Also, I forgot to mention that um, if you're traveling with a large group and you do have your luggages, um, your carry-ons, you can also opt to get a porter. Those are the people that try to bring in your luggages. Um, usually, they're wearing a shirt and you can tell that they're working at the terminal um, because they're not part of the fees that you pay for. It's good to, to pay them a fee uh, to thank them. So for us, we paid them 150 pesos, which is sort of like the norm uh, in terms of paying for those people in here. So it's, they, they come in really handy so that at least you can avoid the hassle of carrying your luggages. With us, we had four luggages, um, just medium-sized ones because again, we're traveling with the group. So just a tip for you guys. So now I think the next step for us is uh, we will go to the beach and enjoy the sunset on our first day here in Boracay. Boracay sunsets are beautiful to behold. Find a place in the long white sand beach where you can lay down and appreciate the view as the sunset goes by quickly. Sunsets introduce a whole new vibe to Boracay as establishments gear up for the nightlife. Whether you're looking for mainstream restaurants, late night cafes, shops, bars, Boracay has a slew of choices just for you. Good. So this is like 390 pesos. 390. 
next on Team De Armas' Boracay Adventure. We head to the sunny side of Boracay, the establishment that is, as Boracay is sunny on all sides anyway. We enjoy the beach on a beautiful sunny day and hit up some cannot miss cafes, all for the love of coffee. From day till dusk, it's beach time in Boracay, unfiltered and raw. So don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications and don't forget to like and subscribe. See more of Boracay's charm next on Team The Arms.